Here's another one. <laughs> That song literally just ends abruptly right there. Okay. Hello, everybody. It's a me, Mox, and here we are on a nice uh, Wednesday afternoon. And today we're going to be getting back into the Persona stream after uh, having missed it for, I think, like a week or two in a row. Uh, just some things came up, you know. That's just how it goes sometimes. That's just how it be. Uh, I'm just going to be really moving into the game right now to get it uh, started. Uh, while I'm doing that, I do want to know uh, that apparently someone named Immortal Luck both gave me a follow and a sub. Uh, last time we were in, so that's pretty cool. We're still only up to 99, however. That follower goal isn't accurate. Uh, let me just, um, let's see here. What's it trying to do here? Let's just do this, boost that, and technically boost this too, because I guess I'm up on both of those. Anywho. Oh, don't do this to me again. I got the game working. There we go. I got it working. I got it tested. This morning, I made sure this shit was working. Ah, uh, fun. Anywho, um, turn this down just a bit. About here should be good. Oop. Yeah, a little bit fine. Yeah, that looks better. Alright, so last we left off, I had finished the most annoying dungeon in the game, at least in my opinion. Uh, we were basically doing social links and stuff like that. 
I don't remember if I had a plan or an action of what I was supposed to do. I'm sure I should have sat back and looked over my stuff and figured out what the fuck I was doing. But I didn't. Huh? I know that Marie is here. And I know that I want to work with Marie and getting Marie's social link up. Going to Juness? I got some change, so there's something I want to see. You said to take Marie to Juness. What's she looking to find? What does she want out of Juness? Food court. You decided to take her for a rest after taking Marie out. Hey. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. Something that isn't sweet, not water. It's like tea? Sensei! Welcome. Ooh, who's this girl? Ah. Is she your skirt? You're quite the naughty boy, aren't you? What the heck is this thing? It's moving. Gross. Wah! How rude! How can you say that about cute little moi? And it talks. What's it made out of? Aha! This teddy is 50% kindness by volume. Huh. And what about the other half? Teddy fur! Kindness and fur. Whoa! Oh hey, it's Mox and Marie-chan! What's she up to this time? Taking a tour of Juness? <laughs> oh, well, if that's what you're doing, I'm just the man you need. Welcome to Juness. Yas Yasoinaba branch. Blah, blah, blah. Huh? I don't need a tour. I already saw it. Whoa! Yosuke got denied! Shut up! It's nothing like that. Yo. Yo, Yosuke, senpai! You know the CD I was talking about? Uh, who's this? Who's this old-timer? Old timer? Oh, geez, isn't that old? Yeah, he's younger than we are, I guess. What the kind of defense is that? He who ha ha ha. Kanji, what are you yelling about? I thought you came to talk with Yosuke Sen. Oh! Oh, Sen. Uh. Oh no, the jealousy. Whoa. Senpai, who is this girl? What is she doing with you? I know this person. I heard about her from Margaret. Someone even I can't handle. That's about right. It's not how it goes. It's something even I can handle. That's not so different. Yes, it is! Jeez. Yosuke Senpai, what's with this girl? Me? Or, she's Marie-chan, Mox's mate. No way! What? Mate? Sorry, I think I added fuel to the fire. Huh? Huh? Hey! Oh, the whole gang's here. Oh, everyone's here! Huh? Oh, Marie-chan's with you, too. Hello. Hmm. Senpais, you know her? We had fun together the other day, right, Marie-chan? I don't recognize you. Which high school are you from? Wait, you're even younger than me. Which middle school are you from? Middle school? What's that supposed to mean? You're pretty rude, old-timer. Hey, why do you keep calling me old? You know, I don't know much about her either. How old are you, Marie-chan? Where do you live? Are you here on vacation? I don't remember. Yosuke, you're scaring the poor girl. Yeah, senpai, not very sub of you. Hey, you brought it up. What? Wait, what? What did you just say? sub -uttle. Do you think the word subtle is pronounced subbuttle? Kanji's got a subbuttle. Shut up! Quit talking about my butt! Nah, that's... We're starting the stream talking about Kanji's butt, that sounds about right. Oh, uh, what do you even make me think about your butt? You're the most unsubtle guy ever. The most unsubtle subbuttle. <laughs> and Yukiko is gone. Hee-hoo-ha, -ha, and everyone laughs. Yeah, jaunty, ha ha ha. Even Marie laughed. Hey! You spend time with your friends and Marie. After everyone is done hanging out, they go home. Those were funny people. I don't get them. They're loud and stupid. <laughs> so stupid. Sub buttle. <laughs> Despite her complaints, Marie appears to be enjoying herself. You feel you have grown closer to Marie now. Social link up. Number five. I'm still only halfway there. Good God. 
do they all face their true selves? They sure did. I see. Hmm? Um. I was thinking maybe we should work on trying to get my memory back one of these days. They look like they're having fun. I want to be like that. I'll help. Please do. I don't know what to do. You decide to help Marie search for her memory. I'm not asking you to help right now, but when the time comes, I'm going to count on you. Let's go home now. Oh, but let's go by the river on the way. Okay. Well, see ya. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Whoa. Whoa, where did those come from? Make small talk with Marie as you escort her back to the building. It's now the evening. But well, that was only the morning social link, huh? You're back. Dojima. Hey, Mox, I heard you got top marks in the last exam. Keeping up your studies while taking care of Nanako, too? You're one hard worker, aren't you? I mean, you act like an uncle every so often. I'm going to give you some spending money. Here you go. A big tip. But I'll spend it all in. Nah, you can use it however you like. Oh my god. That's amazing. Let's see here, what do I want to do? What is my uh, social link shit at? Or my, not my social link, my stats. Uh, knowledge is maxed out. It's the only thing that's maxed out though. I still need to get courage, diligence, understanding, and expression out. Let's see here. I guess what I could do is I could see about... I could make a model that'll work on, I think, my diligence. Decide to build a model. You suddenly assemble the complex pieces. Your diligence has increased. Got a piece in the corner of the box that you thought you'd lost. The model's not complete. I'll have to keep working on it. Hey, it's me! Sorry for dropping you on all of a sudden, but I need to be favored. Can you work on Juness from today till Friday? We're short on staff. I'll pay you more than usual to pay our workers. I'll buy you lunch every day at work, too. I promise. Please, I'm begging you. Ghost case seems to have for sure. All right. Sweet. You're awesome, buddy. You're a real lifesaver. I'll be waiting for you at Juness, so I'll see you soon. Ghost get him. Decided to work at Juness until Friday. Sounds good. Get some pocket change. <sighs> Why are there so many people just for the hero show? It's so freaking tiring. I'd be a zombie now if it weren't for you here, Mox. No. Welcome, we got shaved ice here with all your favorite flavors. Cheer on the heroes while enjoying a tasty snack of frosty mm. shaved ice. Oh, it's so hot today. Teddy is keeping up a good pace. You have Yosuke in the food court while the sun blazed down upon you. You became closer to everyone. Nice. Oh yeah, good news! All of us girls have our scooter license now. We're still getting the hang of riding them, but with a little more practice we'll be good to go. Though we need to finish helping out here first. Let's pick up the pace! What the, what the fuck was Teddy doing over there? You worked hard at Juness. Ba 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 Oh no, Teddy. After the days of hard labor and the blistering heat, Teddy seems to be slowing down. Welcome everyone, beat the heat and eat some meat. Yakiniku, grilled steak, ginger pork, chow down to restore the energy the brutal summer days have taken from you. <laughs> Try our tender, delicious beef. Oh, Teddy's dead right there. Man, Teddy is really dedicated, isn't he? I'm melting in the short sleeve shirt and he's wearing that huge costume and he's standing in front of the griddle. How does he do it? You help Yosuke in the food court while the sun blazed down upon you. You became closer to everyone. You feel your relationship with Yosuke is going to become closer soon. And Chie, nice. Hey, tomorrow is the summer festival, remember? Meet us at the shrine tomorrow night, okay? Alright. Yosuke, today is the last day you had to help Yosuke. You earned... Whoa, my god. That's the same amount Dojima gave me last night. Fuck. Oh, welcome. Home. Welcome. It's a delivery. Ooh, got the wooden bat, and some longevity pills, and the price. How is that compared to what I'm currently building? Oh my god! 
not even on the same planet I once was on. Holy fuck! Now, let me go out. You better go into your room and rest. God damn it, I hate having these days taken from me. <laughs> Shit. The summer festival begins today. You're supposed to meet up with your friends. Stuck in my head. Whoa. Funny. I remember this festival being a lot more crowded. Is it because of the murders? It's probably because of the murders. Yeah. There ain't that many people here this year. Well, I guess you can't blame people for being scared. I haven't seen the reporters around either. They sure are good at stirring shit up and then disappearing. Well, it ain't so bad to have thin crowds. What is important right now is that we go get some ikiyaki. Ooh, I want to get some too. Kanji, what's ikiyaki? That's a good question. I don't remember what ikiyaki is. <gasps> Those like candied apples? Yo. Man, they're late. Why were they meeting up at Yukiko's house in the first place? They're getting dressed, Yosuke. They'll show up sooner or... Whoa! Isn't that them? Everybody's in a yukata. Sorry we took so long. It took us some time to get dressed. You have to wrap towels inside so they're not as breezy as everyone says. It's kind of hard to walk. You look cute in it. <laughs> Nanako seems happy. Nana-chan, you look so cute. I'm head over heels for you. Teddy? Teddy, down! <laughs> Thank you. How do we look, senpai? Does the sight make your heart skip a beat? I'm going to leave it to fate. One, two, three. Oh, not at all. You're probably just used to seeing me in one. Yukiko is blushing a little. Kanji, what are you looking away for? Don't tell me you're ashamed to look. What are you, a monk? His nose. Th that ain't it! <laughs> you're so cute, Kanji. Hey, thanks for looking after her. Yeah, no worries. They bought me cotton candy. Of course, that's what she's so excited about. Like, <laughs> like... My own sister's like the same way. Like she'll go to a place, like like uh, my my family took her to see the Lion King like stage show, the the actual like I don't know what the hell you call that. I guess stage show play play that's what it is the Lion King play, and she was excited to see there, but she was mostly excited about this like hat she got. Did they? Kids now? are weird, man. All right then, you want to go over and do the target prank? Uh I mean, game with me? Uh-huh. Let's go! She just wants to hang out with her dad. I'll take care of Nanako from here. It's only a few times a year that this town gets charged up like this. You kids should go and have fun. Hell yeah. Hmm. A summer festival. Hmm. Yeah? A couple walking together at a festival. Unused to wearing it. The girl's yukata comes loose. Summer has begun. What? What kind of tagline is that? We gotta go two by two. Rawr. There's only three Two left. by two? See, I've been thinking. It's the summer, you're wearing yukata, and we're at a festival. It's just wrong for guys and girls to walk around in a huge group like this. We should couple up while we're here. It's the natural way of things. Teddy, you're weird. What, what the hell are you babbling about? I'm with Teddy. Come on, senpai. Why wear yukata in the first place? So we have memories we can remember fondly, right? So we should pair off right away. I see. Rise, what a terrifying girl. You got a point, though. Good memories. Uh, I'm fine too. Oh, what I mean is, uh, count me in. So who are they gonna pair with? All right, you guys decide how we'll split up. Huh? Seriously? It's up to us? Uh, all right. Fuck. 
three guys and three girls. What should we do? Three guys and f four guys and three girls, actually. Three guys? <laughs> Aren't you missing one? What? Oh, me, him, and Kanji. What? You did that on purpose. Um, should I really do this? Oh, yeah. You can barely look at him. <laughs> no way. I can look at him. It'll be a cinch. Just you watch. This is gonna go so badly. Nah, you should bail, Kanji. It'd be best for everyone that way. What? You don't believe me? Well, I've made my decision. Hey, wait till we're done for that. I want Chie-chan and Yuki-chan and Rise-chan for my partner. That's too much. That's not a decision. Dude, you're the one who said we gotta... I ain't joking here, Ted. If you try and butt in on this... That's right, Kanji. This is serious business. A true man wouldn't be prancing around with other girls at a place like this. Uh, okay. <laughs> Don't tell me you're buying this shit, Kanji. He's spouting no, nonsense. Can you butter him up? Kanji, this is a test to see if you can uphold your status as a true man. <sighs> now no one will be left out. Y yeah, you're right. Thanks, Teddy. You said it. Oh, God. Okay. He, he fell Count for me it. out. Kanji. Dude, come on. Don't fall. It's decided. Huh? Oh, there are too many guys, so someone would have been left out. I just couldn't let that happen. Teddy, you son of a bitch. What? You little... <laughs> I see. You're so kind, Teddy. We let them decide, and this is what we get? <sighs> what a letdown. No, Teddy took the initiative. This is all Teddy's doing. Oh well, let's go then. And away he goes. We fail, huh? An epic fail. God. Hey, Teddy! Why are you buying another idol's photo? Mine's in there too. Oh, God. Aw, oh, what's with this? Hey, Ted! Hands off my corn! Teddy, you got ketchup on my yukata! He's gonna die. He's gonna die. This is the death of Teddy. Goodbye, Teddy. We hardly knew ye. What should we do with the last few days of our summer break? One of which is definitely going to be hanging out at the beach. That is that is guaranteed. Summer break continues. The summer, summer festival is being held at the shrine today. Oh, hey. Hey, Senpai, it's me, Rise. Hey, you know the festival at the Triumph's going on tonight, too, right? Wanna go again with me? Just the two of us this time, of course. Want it to be a special memory, just the two of us to share, don't you? Come on, let's go! Sure. <laughs> remember, let's make it a festival to remember. I'll meet you in front of the shrine. She hangs up. Gotcha, gotcha. Why not? Social links. Tatsuhime Shrine. Mobile stalls are lined up from yesterday. It's just the two of us. I kind of wanted you to pick me in front of everyone else yesterday. But there were so many of us and Teddy was there, so I knew it was impossible. Well, it's nice that we get to come here twice then, for the memories. Come on, let's go. Sure. Did you actually take off that yukata at all, or did you just wear it throughout the First, day? First, we have to make a wish. Though, it'll be the second time I do it. What are you going to wish for? Uh, to be closer to you. Good grades of money. Uh, to be closer. Social link. Thanks. Me too. To be closer to yourself? Alright. <laughs> I bet we're both thinking of specific things on how to achieve this. I might have bigger, bolder plans than you. Lordy. You made your wishes together. Hmm? Young lady. Yes, shopkeep. Aren't you that girl on TV? Yes, shopkeep. I get that a lot. Sorry, it's not me. A real idol couldn't walk around in public with a boy like this. Ah, uh, so I got all excited for nothing. Oh well, how about a candied apple then? One for your boyfriend too. Absolutely. <laughs> so people do think you're my boyfriend. What should we do? Want one each? Or do you want to share one? No, that sounds like it'd be really hard to eat. That'd be really hard to eat. That'd, yeah, no thank you. All us vendors are handing out lottery tickets. Ooh. You can turn them in for a chance to draw a prize at the Turi over there. <laughs> what? That sounds fun. It do. Well then, 
I want two candied apples. Coming right up. Let's go look at the other stands after we're done eating, senpai. Absolutely. Let's get these lottery tickets. I want that lottery! Okonomiyaki, huh? When I got one yesterday, it was huge, so I gave most of it to Teddy. Oh, but today you're here. Let's share one for real this time. Sounds good. I don't have very good memories with fish. I used to have guppies in my room before, but I was too busy to take care of them. Aww. Oh, but I'm sure they'll give us lottery tickets for playing, right? We can always just catch and release. Exactly. All right, then. It's one draw per person. Let me go get it. I wonder what I'll get. I hope I can get something super weird so I can remember the day I got it. Fuck. Fuck, if I had known there was going to be a luck thing, I would have equipped a persona with high luck. Now, close your eyes and draw your prize. What did I get? You drew one ticket. Wow, amazing. Both of you won. The girl got fourth place. So, a cell phone strap. Nice. <laughs> What is this character? It's so ugly. Uh, wait, these clothes. My tour costume last year looked like this. Wait. Oh no. This? She just dunked on herself. And the boyfriend has sixth place. A book. Fuck yeah. The Divine Way. Was this written by the people at the shrine? <sighs> we saw a lot. Take a book. Hell yeah, I'll take a book. Hey, Senpai. Honestly, you had other invitations today, didn't you? Even if you didn't, I'm sure there were girls who were thinking about inviting you. So, thank you for coming with me today. Well, see ya. I hope we can come again next year. Works for me. Better with the free saying, decided to go home. I guess I didn't get social link for that. No. Oh, well, a few days later, a summer break. What will I do? Who's gonna take my day from me? <gasps> Shopping network. Oops. I don't care about the weather forecast. Alright, let's see. What do we got today? Genji beetles. Okay, and longevity pills. Tiny soul tomato and Henrata cabbage. These both kind of suck, but I guess I'll go with the beetles. Get some fishing uh, abilities. Thank you, thank you. Since those fish are goddamn amazing. And longevity pills, I'm sure, have their uses. I don't remember what they were. I have some, don't I? Let's see here. I'm going about this in the wrong way. Longevity pill. Proves, uh, proven to possibly extend life. Restores 50 HP. Okay, it's not too bad. It's about, it's about the same as a medicine. Veggies! They look yummy! Let's get that corn! We've got veggies! Sweet. Ah, uh, tomatoes. Get them tomatoes. Tiny soul tomatoes. Shy guy will be on me as soon as he finds out I have tomatoes, though. Alright. Well, let's head out. Oops. Yes, head out until evening. Yes, please. Take me to the shopping district. What was I doing? I feel like there was something I had to do. You know? Hang out with the girls. What's up, GA? Yo! Man, I took another look at my closet at home the other day and I thought, wow, they really are all green. It made me remember what Marie said uh, to me. <laughs> oh, by the way, how's she doing? Tell her I want to go clothes shopping with her again. Yeah, no worries. Yo! I feel kind of weird today. Meeting on our day off. Oh, yeah, I managed to get my license. Cool, cool. Relationship with GA is going to become closer soon. Spell the day. Hell yeah, let's get that social link up. Do you want to train? Yeah, summer training time. Let's do it. Ba, 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 
we are in front of Diner Aya. Okay. Today is steak bowl day! Just you wait! Beef, 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 beef! I don't have any more. <gasps> don't tell me they're at it again! Let's go! These sons of bitches! What are you up to? Huh? Aw, oh, not her again! You sons of bitches, what the fuck? <laughs> I know how to handle this bitch. <laughs> you look like you got something planned. Good lord. Help! Hear that, Chie Chan? He wants help. How do you know my name? We ran into the guy you saved last time. Had a friendly conversation. He told us all kinds of stuff. Like where you live, and about that precious Yukiko-san of yours. Oh, you're dirty. What are you trying to pull? Oh, I'm just gonna have a little chat with this kid. Stay put, okay? Cause who knows what'll happen to Yukiko-san if you get in our way. Ah, <laughs> man, that's nasty. Why you? <laughs> Things aren't looking good. Let's fight. Yeah, we can't let these guys get away. Gee, spinning man. You sure about that? So you don't care what happens to your loved ones? Fine, then hit me. You're pissed at me, right? Then why don't you just take a swing at me? I won't fight back. Be my guest. Jesus. The face, the gut, just pick a target. As hard as you want. Come on. Freak. What's with this bitch? She for real? Whatever, man. Let's go. Miss, thank you. That poor kid. <sighs> huh? Oh, no. Don't worry about it. The child ran off. <sighs> My heart's still pounding. Scary. <laughs> Was that stupid of me? <laughs> you protected that kid. Thanks. That's what was most important. It might have been stupid, but I wanted to save them. Exactly. That kid, Yukiko. How I feel about this isn't fake. I really want to protect them. Chie is smiling gently. You feel your relationship with Chie has grown deeper yet. Rank 9! Chie Santanaka. Wow, we're almost done with Chie. Gee, I cannot take a mortal blow for you in battle. Hell yeah. Uh, um, well, I also want to protect you. Ooh. I might be a little flaky, and maybe you don't even need protecting. But I, I want to protect you. <laughs> uh, mood is right. What should you do? I'm counting on you. <laughs> no, yep. no, no. I'm counting on you. Oh, uh, yeah, disappointed, but <sighs> look, look, Chie is great, and for all the people who go with Chie, including the song I usually play at the credits, no disrespect. All right, but I have my sights set on somebody else. So, Chie, let's just be friends. So, let's have some steak! Let's do it! You ate with Chie and went home together. Yeah, I'm not new. <laughs> yeah, new, new, new. You're back. I am. That was weird. That was awkward. I don't know how I feel about the. Mmm, spin. Dojima, Dojima, that was fucking weird, man. What do I do? The model. I can work here. Mega model. Let's do it. You suddenly assembled the complex pieces. Your diligence has increased. You may almost made the mistake of using piece 9 where I assist to use 6. Woo! The model's not complete, but it will be. Beep, 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 beep. Morning. Is your motorcycle all gassed up? Yeah. Remember how I mentioned how we should all go to the beach before? Why not go today? 
Why not? Been looking forward to it. Right? When you think of the summer, you think of the beach. And vice versa. God, it's getting hot where I am right now, and going to the beach sounds fucking amazing. But right now, the water is still, like, arctic cold. Like, you would go in and you would freeze to death cold. I'm sure suntan skin and a little accidental hand slipping is in our future. What do you mean, accidental hand slipping, Yosuke? Oh man, I'm so excited! Yosuke seems delighted. I'll go ahead and call up the others. See you later! Adios! I'm going to the beach, away. The sky is bright and clear today. It's the perfect day for an outing. You decided to bring out your scooter. Daytime cutscene. We're on opposite ends of Chie. Senpai, is the beach really this way? We've been on the road for a while. I'm positive. But can't you smell the ocean? What smell? <laughs> you can definitely trust her on this reset. She's got the senses of a beast, remember? I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> hey, what are you saying? Hey, I was complimenting you. You call that a compliment, you idiot? What kind of girl wants to be compared to a big brain? Behind us. Oh, hey, these dude, poor boys. Give me a break, will ya? Have you seen the map? This is crazy. Wait for me. I'm done for! <gasps> Goodbye, Teddy. <laughs> Look! The ocean! Alright! <gasps> it's pretty! Hell yeah! Oh shit! It's all downhill from here. So, they got the advantage on that one. Speed limits, yeah, guys. Speed limits. Uh, okay. See ya. Hey. Wait for me. I wanted to say they're on the wrong side of the road, but no, I think that left side is the side that they drive on in Japan. Oh, we're all in our swim trunks. You know, I'm starting to get nervous. Why? We're at the ocean, which means swimsuits, which means reset live and in person. Get Get your mind off her, dude. What are the ramifications here? Am I using up my lifetime supply of luck with this? Whoa! Ooh! Why, hello! How come you guys are here? You should be in the water! She's super embarrassed. Oh, were you waiting for us? Dude, that's just insane! She's uh, more normal than I expected. Uh, I've already seen her shadow. <laughs> I like that one. That's totally different. You better not say that to her face, okay? Um, can we get going into the water? Oh my god. Adorable. I like, look, I'm not... That's adorable. Chie-chan, Rise-chan, and Yuki-chan all win the Ladies of Summer competition. I'm surrounded by such beautiful mermaids. I feel like this could be my chance for a summer romance. Teddy, not again. You, do you remember what happened last time? Like that had ever happened. Agreed. Where's Kanji? Where is Kanji? I bet he's still worn out. Riding all that way on a bike really did a number on him. Oh, here he comes. Speedo! Dude, what is that? What's what? Your swimsuit. What else would I mean? It's your basic black. What? I'm not talking about the color. I mean, I mean, the, the whole thing. Stop looking. I'm seeing things I never needed to see. Stop looking. You're the only one saying stuff like that. Agreed. Don't act like you're not egging me on. Wait, Kanji. How come you're not getting a nosebleed over me? Huh? Why would that happen? What? Good I'm Lord. surprised they can get this worked up over just some swimsuits. Jeez, they're hopeless. 
I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the water. Hell yeah. Chie chan, Yuki chan, let's be mermaids! There you go. Whee! And Teddy was then lost at sea, never to be seen again. Hey, he went in first! Come on, you two, let's go! Absolutely, let everyone else argue. We're here to swim. That was awesome. Found a vending machine. I'll go buy some drinks. You want a soda? Yeah. Oh! My string's getting undone. Mm. Hey, Teddy, watch the hands, pal. Aw, don't be so stingy. I think we're due for a wardrobe malfunction. They're going to murder you, Teddy. In the world are they doing? Whoa, 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 whoa! What now? Oh no, it happened. It happened. Got you, you bastard. Busted. Hey, Senpai, this stupid bear here. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, hey! Not cool! Okay, agreed on this one. Senpai? No, no, no. Wait, hold it! Agreed? Okay, on this one, it's understandable. He, he ain't got nothing. Look down! Down? <laughs> Holy shit, the wardrobe malfunction was mine! <laughs> what are you doing? You need to cover up down there, damn it! I give up! I give up! Hey, quit squirming. You run off and I'm toast. But if I don't run off, my dignity will be in ruins! Why don't we take a break? <laughs> I need to put on more sunscreen. Gotta take a break, this lake was steak! What? They're getting out of the water! Teddy, what gives? He's dead. I'm done for. Teddy has passed on. I'll go look for something. Sit tight! Think. This is an emergency. Here, man, let him dangle. Maybe a seashell? Let's find a swimsuit. That, there's no way. We, we ain't got enough time for that. I can hear the harps. Stay with us, Ted. <laughs> You're not dying on us today. All right, Kanji. I found something. Wait, that's seaweed. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Senpai! They're coming. Just hide it. Go behind the boat! Go behind the boat! Majestic. What am I supposed to say to this? Uh, we're, uh, reenacting the birth of Venus? <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm ready to be born, damn it! Sika! I don't think that worked out. Was this the best idea? Whatever else, it's giving me an itch. Uh huh. You all managed to win a bitter battle, or so you tell yourself. The sun is starting to set. Pretty busy day. I'm still itchy. At least we had a laugh over it in the end, right? And we found your swimsuit, too. Well, I never would have come to the beach if you hadn't invited me. <laughs> I guess it would be out of character for you. It actually might be more fun to try stuff that's out of character. Yeah. Yeah. In a way, your nature is like a wall, after all. Surrounding yourself with high walls makes things simple, but simplicity isn't always a virtue. Oh, man, what was that? Did I just get all philosophical there? <laughs> By all means, keep going. Oh, well, if I have your permission. Come on, you're embarrassing me even more. I think it's fine. I look at that big ocean out there and think, man, why keep hanging on to all this embarrassment? Just let it go. Yeah. So you don't deny that it was embarrassing, huh? I'll go with Kanji on that one. It's also 
true what uh, Yosuke said. You always gotta try new things. You gotta branch out. Step forward, you know? It's been a while since I had done anything the other day uh, in the form of animation, so... That Omori thing I did, that was fun. It was great, and I'm pretty happy I did it. I'm happy I did this, you know? Just a thing for everybody else out there. Don't be afraid to try something new. Who cares if you fail? Okay, why don't we play a game? Whoever loses has to buy barbecue on a stick for everyone else. Chie is just hungry. But that's a prize only you would want to play for, Chie Senpai. Then the loser gets to smooch Teddy. Talk about kicking someone when they're down. Then instead of playing a game, why don't we do something else together? Like burying Teddy in the sand. You mean like giving him a sand bath? Oh no, my wrist is red. I was so careful to put sunscreen on too. No. Good times never last long. I wonder if our high school days will end that way too. Probably. What's with all the doom and gloom? The case is closed, man. If anything, I'd say we're just getting started. That's true. Man, though, this motorcycle trip turned out way better than I imagined. Much fun was had. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we go skiing during winter break? Yeah. Wait till you guys see how awesome I am on a snowboard. Talking about winter already? Getting a little ahead of ourselves, are we? Well, nothing wrong with planning ahead. I'll look forward to it. Absolutely. Yeah. There's lots of mountains around here, so there's got to be a ski slope somewhere not too far away. Oh, yeah, tons of them. None of them are that close by, but it won't be too tough by scooter. Though we gotta stay safe. The roads look dangerous. We might have to change our plans. That's a fucking Lily. Man, I wouldn't have thought you'd be the one stressing safety. He's the guy on the bike. What's the point of trying to act cool when it comes to that stuff? Danger's danger, man. Well, you have a point. All right, now that we have a plan in mind for winter break, let's start heading back before it gets dark. We're all beginners at driving, after all. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're going home! You enjoyed your day of swimming in the ocean and touring by scooter. It was a memorable day. So much of my summer taken from me. The end of summer break is fast approaching, but Nanako still has some homework left to do. I've even heard there's a huge pile of homework. The objective of Nanako's homework is to tighten the bond between family members by doing homework together. It's too much for Nanako to finish all by herself. Should you help Nanako with her homework for the next few nights? Fucking yeah! Really? Thank you, big bro. Well, it's gonna take my evenings. I'll start working on spelling practice. Nanako is doing her best to practice her spelling, which she seems to be doing well, but you decide to double check her work anyway. After Nanako finished her spelling, you put her to bed and return to your room. Ba da ba 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 da ba. Some break will be over soon. Remember you have homework at all. However, it only take you a few days to do it, but you promise Nanako will help her with homework every night. Maybe you can do your homework during the daytime. Oh, God. Let's work on our homework. Let's be responsible. So do your summer homework. Knowledge has increased. Useless. My knowledge is maxed. Homework is... No of your view problems. You feel you have a better understanding of the material. You feel that you understand it, but still not well enough. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I've already maxed my intellect. My brain cannot become bigger. Decided to look over Nanaka's homework. I've three problems from my homework today. All I know, it's, um, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Dad always tells me that one. Who could that be? Yosuke and Teddy came by. We had a little going on at Juna's today. Here's a souvenir for you, Nanako-chan. Oh, are you doing your summer homework? I feel sorry for you. All right, I'll help you, Nanako-chan. Um, Proverbs. Uh, hi, everyone. Kagido ergo sum. <sighs> Pick that up. Don't cast curls before swine is more like something you'd say. Yosuke and Teddy helped Nanako finish her job. It became closer to everyone. The really relationship with Yosuke is kept closer to you. And Nanako, yes! But Nanako to bed before you're saying goodbye to Yosuke and Teddy once you're ready. Oh, I can feel it already in my tummy. The pangs. Hunger. Slight hunger. I, uh, I ate food today, but I only had a sandwich. And I had that like five or six hours ago. So I should probably think about making some food here at some point. 
maybe in like an hour and a half or something. I don't know. Hey! Hey! I appear to be getting notifications from people. Oh, I see. I see now. Whoa, I just got a whiff of coffee. Where'd that even come from? There's no coffee in here. I'm smelling things. I have to write an essay about something I remember. Hmm. Someone here today, too? Chie and Yukiko came by. I heard from Yosuke that Nanako-chan is doing her, her homework, so I would help you. You're writing an essay? Have to decide on a topic, Nanako-chan? Not yet? Hmm, let's see. How about the time we all went to the festival together? That's right, the Ikiaki was so good and I had so much fun. Nanako be begins writing her essay. Chie and Yukiko helped Nanako with her essay. We all became closer to everyone. Yay! Everybody's social links are going up. We're almost done with Chie. It that sounds like the next time we hang out with Chie, we're gonna max her out. Oh, hello? It's me, Chie. Do you mind hanging out with me today? Sure. Yeah! Why not? Fuck it. We'll be fine. Safagawa Riverbank. You train with Chie, like always. Okay! I think that's enough for today. Chie seems more enthusiastic than usual today. Yeah, I feel like I haven't been that on form in a while. Hey, um, there's something I want to tell you. Something I've been thinking about all this time. Uh-huh. I, I still don't have a clue what my good points are. But I thought I could just keep on searching. I just want to protect people, and to do it, I'll stand up and fight. I'm gonna fight alongside you till the very end. I mean, we'll always be friends. Of course. Yeah. Chie is smiling gently. This is from me to you. You obtained wristbands. So it's clean. It makes a matching pair with mine. <laughs> that right there is a gift you never get rid of. I think this power of mine is what I wanted all along. The power to protect everyone. I understand now. I'm not supposed to use it to become more self-reliant. I'm supposed to use this power to protect people. Yukiko? My friends, my family, this town, and you. Ooh. Gia's strong will that allowed her to accept and overcome her weakness has awoken her heart's true power. Gia's persona has been reborn. Tomoe has been transmogrified, transfigured into Suzuka Gongen. For this no matter how far apart we may be in the future we'll be okay this feeling won't ever change you can sense Chie's strong resolve you feel a tight bond between you and Chie max out cherry and arcana Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Fusunushi, the ultimate form of the Chariot Arcana. The Chie Santanaka Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Chie Santanaka Social Link! The power to create personas of the Chariot Arcana has reached its maximum. Mox has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the Chariot Social Link, you can now fuse Futsunuishi and the Divine Sword. Chie's power of heart has affected her persona as well. Invade fire. Let's see here. Let's get rid of... Tanakuja. All right then, my body and mind are all worn out. Let's go get some meat, and I mean the good stuff! Hell yeah. 
You went on a meat to meat eaters tour of Inaba with Chie. We did it! We maxed the social link! Decided to look over now and it goes home. For today's homework, I had to write a book report. I already finished reading the book, so I just need to write about it. A king goes into a deep forest, and Nanako puts a lot of effort into her book report. He was all alone, so he wasn't angry or sad. The king said he was happy, but I feel sad for him. Uh, big bro, do you feel happy when you're alone? It depends. I see. Maybe I should write about you, too. Aww. After Nanako finished her report, you put her to bed and return to your room. I understand that. You know, sometimes it's just what you want to do. Sometimes you just want to be alone. Let's see here. I still got... You still have to finish your school. Uh, let's work on the homework. Let's get it done. Knowledge, 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 knowledge. You decided to go over Nanako's homework. I'm doing my art homework today. I have to make something out of stuff I find in the house. A milk carton, a paper towel tube, knitting wool, origami paper. What else do we have? Is someone here today too? Risei and Kanji came by. Oh god, Kanji would be amazing for this. Senpai said that Nanako-chan was doing her summer homework. You should have told me. But it looks like I picked the wrong day to come by. I can't do any of this art stuff. Me neither. Huh? Let me see what you got. Kanji carefully crafted something with incredible detail and created something that no elementary student could make. He became closer to everybody. I feel your relationship with Kanji is going to become closer soon. Yes! Ba, 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 ba. Oh, there's homework left. What's there to do today? Let's go do our homework. Who's going to. No! Hello, it's. Are you bored today? Let's go somewhere. I'll pass. I want to, trust me, I want to. anything from the shopping network. Well, I've got a bunch of money all of a sudden. Let's see here. Someone called me downstairs. The order from the show has arrived. <gasps> my Beatles. Yes, my price sticker. Ba da 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 da. Let's see here. Thief dagger. Nice. Well, let's get that thief dagger. Get something for the boy. That'll make things easier for me getting equipment for everyone else. In theory, I suppose. Alright. Yeah, let's work on finishing up the homework. Once the homework's done, I can do whatever the fuck I want. You know, just like any other job. Do your job, then you can just kind of hang out. How much homework do I have? My god. So I look over Nanako's this one. I had to write a paper about my favorite animal. Hmm, what should I choose? Teddy. Choose Teddy. Oh, I know. There's a picture uh, of it on that shirt that Dad bought. What's it called? A platypus? I'll write about platypuses. Nanako eagerly begins researching platypus. She doesn't seem to need any help, but you make sure she's on the right track. Platypus lays eggs, and they have poisonous claws. Question. Is it the male or female platypus that has poisonous claws? Oh. Wrong! That's crazy. There's something you didn't know, big bro. Aw. Oh. As I don't want to go finish your research, you put her to bed or turn her over. I swear to God, if that shows up on my tests. Summer break of Still have some homework left! We better should work on your homework today. I was going to! Decided to work on your summer homework. Acknowledge it. It's mostly review problems, but you feel a better understanding. All of your homework has been completed! Yay! I'm free! Fucking finally! Decided to look over now like this one. The last thing I have to do for my homework. I just need to write a picture diary. Um, Big Bro and Dad. Uh, let's see, August 27th. I don't remember the weather. Oh, big bro, did it rain on the day that we worked on my art homework? Uh, it was sunny, I thought. Was it? Hmm, not like this puzzled. Big bro's friends helped me a lot with my homework. They were so nice, I liked them so much. 
No, don't look! Now I go finish all of our summer homework. Oh Depending on how good you went to Fucking, I get two days. Well, I guess I had three. I spent one day doing social work, so. I'm not free, so what's up? Good morning. Did you know the fireworks festival is today? You know, I don't have any plans. Let's get everyone together. Okay, I'll call the rest of the guys up. Hell yeah. Don't forget about tonight. Hell yeah. Are you there? Yeah. What's up? I'm gonna play at Mana Chan's house. I'll buy some trash bags on the way back. Okay. You wonder if Nanako knows about the firework festival. You tell Nanako you're gonna go to the fireworks festival with your friends. Dad said we'll be going to the fireworks show once he comes home. It's at night, so I have to go with Dad. But he said he'll try and come home for it. I'm glad to hear that. Uh huh. I'll go with Dad. So we'll see you there. Right on, right on. Decide to leave Nanako to Dojima and go to the fire festival with your friends. Evening. You and your friends arrive at the hill overlooking the town. Ooh, the crowd's pretty thin here. Riverbanks were packed. Surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I pass by the mountainside a lot. Customers ask me about it too. I wonder if Nanako-chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Hey, where's Teddy? Where is Teddy? Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. Can we just leave him like that? He deserves it. Sure we can. His karma caught up to him. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke-senpai? God, no. When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanukos at him. Dude, that would kill him. What happened anyway? I don't even want to remember it. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. He was all like, Yosuke, what's this magazine about? <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. Agreed. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. Is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? Also agreed. Huh? Is he not talking about his secret savings? <sighs> <laughs> uh, uh, my head hurts at that one. Oh my god, Yukiko. Come on. Come on, girly. Secret savings for a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. Oh, Teddy. Teddy? He made it. Oh, god. What a tragedy. My lovely fur is completely ruined. That's... Okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. But I'm like a newborn child inside. Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke. Quit reopening this morning's wounds. There they are. Big bro. <laughs> you want to explain why Teddy's flat? There you go. We're happy for you. Yep. Monica seems happy. Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a dachi could handle the rest. Fair enough. Hey there, little lady. Wanna launch some fireworks of love with me? One, where'd you get the clothes? Two, you're saying that in front of her dad. How do you do that? Well... Cut it out, Teddy! Do you want Tojima-san to haul you in? What is this sudden noise? You're heating up down there. That, was that a crowd? Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Really? Yeah! Oh, that's awesome! Pretty! Wow! 
like that the game puts a smile in my heart again you enjoyed the fireworks festival damn it people stop messaging me I'm streaming guys I'm streaming that concludes our program for the summer fireworks festival thank you for coming and all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well that so sounds like an intercom announcer Totally worth coming out here for. Because you got to stuff your face, right? So what? You were all munching on snacks too. An extra large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. Agreed. Did you have fun, Nanako-chan? Uh -huh. I'm sleepy. She says uh -uh. sleepy. She just wants to take a nap in now. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? Well, none of them are going to catch up. more relaxed about it. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. The fireworks were great, but I don't know. It just feels like summer's just about over. Why'd you have to bring that up? I'm all right with that. <coughs> When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. Really? That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. I was expecting something more... more... Bittersweet and stuff. Right? True, it's completely out. It's easier with guys. You take the long view too much when it comes to this stuff. Are you going to throw away the only summer you'll ever get as a second year just because it's a little less annoying? Not to be the bearer of bad news, Yosuke. This is not my first trip through Inaba. This is not my first trip through the summer. And this is not going to be my last trip. You're the one who gets to repeat this. Or hey, you're the one who doesn't mean. get repeated. You make it sound like we're annoying. Annoying? Oh, Am I really? Yukiko. Oh, sheesh. Yukiko's freakout switch just kicked in. It's your fault for being so insensitive, Yosuke. Huh, yeah. This kind of thing really doesn't come up with guys. <sighs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. Hi, <laughs> Oh yeah, should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid are you talking about? Naoto. Uh, well... Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. When you think about it, we were working on the same case in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know, I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept, even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. I doubt, actually. I fully believe that they would have shown up. I wonder if he's not here anymore. He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Maybe. Huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. Yosuke, Oops. you really do only the think about girls, I hit the button huh? twice. Shut up! You don't have to say it twice! Oops. You ate a light dinner with the others and then headed home. Double beef of light dinner. Well, right, we're back to school. What's up, Nanako? Oh, you finally came down. Um, I got a call from Dad. He said someone gave him a watermelon. Watermelon! It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. Do you think Teddy and your other friends can come? Yeah. Nanako wants everyone to come. We decided to give them a call. Should be good. Watermelon? Oh, definitely. I haven't had any yet this year. I'm going to call up the others, so you better not smack it open before we 
get there. I, uh, I understand that feeling. I've actually started the summer off with a watermelon already. Uh, it wasn't like a whole one, it was just kind of a half of one that I split between, uh, Snoo and Shy Guy. It's a good time. Good watermelon. I also tried it with, uh, kanji style of eating watermelon. We should see that here. Nanako may have been in the factory and all their decisions as well. Um, Dad got a watermelon from someone, so he said we should call everyone. Man, a watermelon. Because of all the stuff that's gone down this summer, I completely missed out. So, where is it? The fridge? Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. We gotta smack it open first. Huh? Are we seriously gonna do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. But, but doesn't it sound like fun? I wanna do it too. I'll swing at it with everything I've got. The splattering fruit juice, bursts of joy, one night of love. The bitter sweetness of those days is the essence of youth. That makes no sense at all. And dude, will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? That's the essence of youth. Nanako, no! I'm home. Whoa, that's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? Welcome home! <laughs> Let's split the watermelon open! Say, what? Ah, well, you see... The watermelon was already cut and shared with the neighbors. Come on, Nanako. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? <laughs> there it is. He's putting salt on it. I'm really sorry. It's a lot of fucking watermelon. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako-chan, let's do it again sometime. Next time, we'll do it right, at the beach. Seconded. Whoa, does that mean we get another chance to see you in bathing suits? Oh, but there probably aren't enough days left. We'll have to do it next year. Next year? Will you play with me next year, too? Of course we will! You betcha! You betcha! You betcha! Did you hear that, Nanako? Yep! Thank you! The fun time slowly passed by. Eventually, everyone went home. Nanako must have gotten tired, too. She already seems to be asleep in her room. Thanks for everything today. It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. <laughs> the case is finally solved. Now for all the... <laughs> ah, never mind. Save it for some other time. You know, you really made some great friends. What a heart-to-heart -heart right there. The sun sets peacefully. Today is the first day of the second term. You should hurry to school. With my finished homework! Morning! Good morning. Good morning. Oh, summer vacation's over already. Yo, guys. I got lost on my way here. The vacation was pretty long. I felt like it could have been longer. Not that long. Sheesh. There they are! Good morning. Y you You're that, uh, pint-sized detective. I beg your pardon? My name is Naoto. Please don't give people bizarre nicknames you make up on the spot. Um, you know this is a high school, right? My cooperation with the police has come to an end. However, there are aspects of the case with which I remain unconvinced. There are some family-related issues as well, so I've decided to stay here for the present. From today forth, I'll be a first year at your high school. And I felt that I should at least introduce myself to you all. I trust our relations will be cordial, senpai. Hope so too. Senpai? 
that detective boy's our underclassman? The plot thickens. So they got the guy over some break. I was sad to know that he was a student I once taught. You gotta watch out for unjustified resentment, guys. I'm sure you know what I mean. You all watch gossip shows. You never know who has a grudge against you. My advice, train your body regularly so you can fight back. You need to exercise and meat to train your body. Young people, eat meat. All right, now the sudden question about meat. Hey, Mox. Venison is what kind of animal? Isn't that deer? You gave the answer you thought was right. Nope, it's all of those, actually. Venison is the name of any game meat. It is? That includes wild boar, deer, moose, reindeer, and even some kinds of rabbits. Horse meat is sakura, and deer meat is momiji. Remember those guys, too. It comes from the word venor, meaning to hunt. But nowadays, people really only use it to refer to deer meat. Speaking of the outdoors experience, the high school trip is next week. I hope you get the chance to eat some, get some yummy meat. But be careful not to eat anything that has to hide behind a code name, though. <laughs> Your answer was incorrect. Didn't know. I honestly thought it was just deer meat. Man, school's as dull as ever. With the case closed, the days feel so empty all of a sudden. Come on, Yosuke. Everything went back to normal. It's a good thing. I didn't mean it that way. It's just... Hey, we're stopping by Juness later, right? Why don't we ask Naoto-kun to join us? Yeah. Be cordial. Oh, well, I just thought, since he doesn't know anyone yet, he must feel lonely. Didn't he say he came here to help out with the murder case? With the case closed, he's just an ordinary guy now. And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer student, just like us. Hello, senpai. Hello. Maybe he transferred here out of plain stubbornness, because he doesn't seem like he's only in it for fun. All right, let's see if he wants to hang out with us. A celebrity coming to school is already a surprise, but a detective is even rarer. I'm a little curious to see what his family's like, too. There's that and the fact that he's a detective at his age. And Risei just walks with us. Oh. Oh, speak of the devil. There's the little guy. You don't know the area yet, right? Come on, who will show you around? There's probably tons of places to hang out that only we'd know about. That won't be necessary. I'm not interested in hanging out, and neither am I interested in you two. So blunt. Huh? Hey, what did you say? What's with that attitude? We're just trying to be friendly. Jeez, way to make an impression. Yo, Naoto-kun, how's it going? Oh, um... <laughs> hey, guys. Sup? Sup? Uh, well, we'll be going now. I see. Those two are up to no good. They wouldn't have just bounced like so that So we otherwise. meet again. May I help you? Hey, Naoto-kun! If you're not doing anything after school, want to come with us? Come with... you mean me? Perhaps another time. I have some things to mull over. Things to mull over? I must go straight home today. I promised my grandpa so. No. Grandpa? Oh well. That's that then. Let's hang out some other time. We tried. That was very friendly at least. But hey, family stuff, you know? Man, did you see Naoto's attitude? He sure blew his debut at school. Is he gonna be okay at Yasogami? He is different, but he has this mysterious air around him that draws your attention. Whoa, Yukiko, I never knew. You like younger guys? No, that's not what I meant. Hmm. He did just come out of nowhere, and a detective or even just an individual who works with the police force being so young is nuts. So of course there's a lot of intrigue around that. Naoto-kun said he has things to mull over, but he's got to be talking about the murder case. Of course he does. He's some ace detective, right? I bet he's not satisfied, even though the case is closed. 
That's true, but... <laughs> this place isn't our special headquarters anymore. Uh, let's talk about something else. Isn't the class trip coming up soon? Uh -huh. Um, where are we going? Tatsumi Port Island. Yeah! For those who are not in the know, Tatsumi Port Island is the location of Persona 3. So, exciting. I heard it's an artificial island that faces the ocean. It's a pretty big city. It is. Huh? Port Island? It is, and you have to use a tram to pretty much get anywhere in, in the city. I did tons of shoots there. It's just beyond the Moonlight Bridge, yeah? Should be lots of places to hang out there. Sure are. Uh, actually, we may not have any time to goof off during this trip. I heard the school board is changing the trip schedule this year. The idea is we're gonna visit a private school there, like to have local and urban students interact or something. It'll be all about studying and serious business. Oh, yeah. Yeah, indeed. Ugh, they're totally missing the point of a class trip. What kind of place is this private school? I heard it's really good. They have nice buildings and everything. But it's closed on the day we're going there, so they're going the extra mile to make this work. They want us to tour some factories on the second day, and then we're coming back on the third day. That's no different from a social studies field trip. Uh, I didn't want to know that. Can't expect much from a school-sponsored trip, I guess. Fair enough. Well, we'll be around, so if it starts to drag, we can ditch. I'll show you guys around. <laughs> but we're in different years. Oh, didn't you know? The excursion will be like the campout. They're going to combine the first and second years. Since student enrollment is down and they're low on funds, they've cut the excursion back to once every two years. Well, at least we won't be bored with you around, senpai. Gosh, I'm trying to remember the last time I went to Port Island and I wasn't working. <laughs> this will be great. Sounds like a drag. I wish I could be that positive about it. Doesn't this seem like a pain in the ass to anyone else? Some people were against the proposition, but it's been decided. Oh, and guess whose idea it was? King morons. Even in death. It's just the kind of thing he'd come up with. No, King Moron! Why must you torture us from beyond the grave? No, King Moron! You don't even know who that is. Hey, tell me more about this trip. It's a trip you won't be going to, Teddy. You're not a student. Where is Port Island? What's there? Get back to work, will ya? Well, even though the class trip is coming up, it's still a ways away. What should I do until then? Well, it's not like we got much to do here in the first place. Man is just an animal trying to figure out how to kill time through his days. That's profound. Huh. You made that sound like you were being philosophical. Yet it made absolutely no sense. And you're not paying attention. S sorry. <laughs> After school, evening, do I get the t time to myself? Please, tell me. Oh, welcome home, big bro. There's a delivery on the table. Hooray, Thieves Dagger Bry Sticker. <gasps> veggies. Harvest the veggies. I don't think I have any seeds. So I'm not going to be able to do anything with it for now. They look yummy. Yay! We have veggies, we got some tiny soul tomatoes. Don't have any seedlings. It's okay. Alright. Nanako wants to hang out, but the devil social link. What is that social link even at? Let's see here. The devil is at eight. Holy shit, I'm almost done with it too. Yep. Take me to the shopping district. Take me to the bus stop. I would like to go at the hospital drama tour. Oh, really? I feel like your relationship deepened just yet. No, you know what? At that point, let's just go back home. 
Let's just hang out with uh, Nanako. Change my mind. Never mind, that seems to be hiding something. With your current level exploration, it seems like you'd be able to get it out of her. If your level was enthralling, you'd be. No! No! My understanding has to be maxed? Fuck! Okay. Alright. Whatever. Let's just do it. Let's just get it over with. Maybe we'll even tell him we'll be away for a little bit. Courage has increased. Why, hello. Good work. Talk, 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 talk. Tease, 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 tease. Good chunk of change. It's gonna rain tonight. You overhear students talking. I feel so tired coming to school. So sleepy. I can't believe that I was early for class every single morning until about just about a month ago. You're so lucky compared to me. I've been studying for my entrance exams all summer. By the way, I'm so relieved that they caught the guy behind those murders. Surprised that it turned out to be a student. I've seen so many shows interviewing the police by now. I'm so sick of it. It's still the talk of the town. Class is under for the day. You have some been solved. You can only hope that some tragedies won't be repeated. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, uh -huh, sorry, I wasn't really paying you going home. Take care. Oh, they don't want to hang out with me. Does anybody wish to hang out with me? No. Nobody wants to hang out with Mark. I can't even go to club. Hey, Naoto. Oh, senpai. Do you want something from me? Uh, let's go out. No, I'd rather not. You didn't have the courage to make another attempt to ask. Damn it! <sighs> Please. Well, you know what this means, right? Say it with me. Beef, 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 beef. Big ol' thunderstorm. Please let me max out my, uh, courage. Or understanding, or both. That would be amazing. Central Shopping District, Chinese Diner Aya. You accept the Rainy Day Special Mega People Challenge! Ba -ba 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 -ba. We can't do it because we don't have the shit to do it. Fail. Understanding has increased. Knowledge has increased. Diligence has increased. I, uh, I heard that you live with a police detective named Dojima-san. My daughter met a man named Dojima when she was making a delivery to the police station. She said he looked a little like you. Your family must be filled with handsome men and beautiful women. Okay. What a weird thing to say, Mr. Chinese shop owner. Thanks for the beef! You're back. I am. You want a janitor at the hospital today? Hell yeah! Well, because why not? I need to get my courage up. God, do I need to get my courage up. Come on, bravery. You can do it. I mean... No! Please. Mem. Good work. Can I see your today's report? Haha, -ha, your courage has gone up, I see. Oh. It doesn't seem like it's going to be ready that day either. That's the end of the day. Uh, GA doesn't want to hang out. It's fair. GA doesn't have to hang out. Hey, Yosuke! I heard you wanted to hang out. Yeah. I know. Do you know how long Marie Chan's plan to stick around here? Well, give her my regards. Tell her we should all hang out at the beginning. Yo! You free? You want to go somewhere? 
Seems like your relationship is going to get closer. Spend time with Yosuke. Right. Yeah. I still have to give him that knife. The hill overlooking town. Yosuke brought you here. I hated this place when I first came to Inaba. You can tell how small the town is from up here. But looking at it now, it's a nice town. <laughs> Yosuke is smiling sadly. Still sad about Saki Senpai? Hmm. Not as much as last time. But I still feel lonely. Yosuke is looking far off. I want to tell Saki Senpai something. That what's important isn't where you are. This town I hated so much. Now I love it. There's still nothing here. But I have family and friends and you. The important things are never far off. They're all around you. Yosuke seems a bit embarrassed. And I always wanted to be special. I thought my life would finally have meaning if I was special to someone. That's why I was really excited when I got my persona. But I really didn't need it. It's not what you have or what you can do. Just being born, living your life. Before you know it, you're already special to someone. You're right. Yeah, like you. You're special to me, you know? Yosuke is rubbing his nose. You can feel Yosuke's warm trust. You feel your relationship with Yosuke has grown deeper. Rank 9! We are one off for him. Yes! He can now take a mortal blow for me in battle. Alright. Let's see if we can find everyone's house from here. There's Juness. And that's the main street, so... My house is there. The one with that funky roof. Meaning yours is... Over yonder. With a scooter. And a garden. Yes. Yes. You're back. I'm home. <laughs> Where am I going this time? Well, I'm gonna go to the shopping district, as I always do. And I'm going to see about doing my part-time job, as I always do. <laughs> Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. Do I have anything I can exchange? Looks like that's in there. Alright, let's work. Alright, I'll be counting on you. Wash the dishes. My diligence has increased. Yes, I would like to talk to the scary man and increase my courage. Brave old man, tell me your war stories again. Damn it! We're getting there, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Shopping network time. Shopping network time. Pee 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 pee! Um, can I meet you today if you have some free time? Sure. Thank you. I'll see you in a bit. Excited to go out with Yukiko. Sounds good to me. So, show link. Tatsuhime Shrine. Yukiko brought you here, saying she wants to pay her respects. I come here every so often. It's nice and quiet. I live here with the waitresses, too. Like, before a big guest arrives. We make our annual Hatsumode Shrine visits here. The exam charm was here too. Once I leave this town, I won't be able to come here again, will I? You're not coming back? Uh, I mean, uh -huh. I couldn't face my parents again. Oh, Yuki-chan! Oh! Kasai-chan, what are you doing here? Taking a little break after ordering from the liquor store. <sighs> so now you know. Hmm? Oh, I, I won't tell. Ah, just kidding. Oh, is this the rumored boyfriend? I see. That hard work in the kitchen paid off, huh? Huh? It's not like that. Well, wow, your face is burning red. Well, I'll leave you to be alone. Sheesh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, I... That was one of our waitresses. They all have the wrong idea. I'm really sorry. It's okay. 
<clears throat> Thank goodness. Yukiko seems to have broken out in a cold sweat. Kasai-san is teaching me how to cook, along with the other waitresses and chefs. I say I'd learn on my own, but I kept messing up. I burned myself a couple of times. <laughs> Please let us teach you, they said. It's usually the other way around, you know? They use up their break time for my lessons. They're so nice to me. When I was uh, halfway successful one time, everyone gathered around and taste tested it, saying how good it was. I didn't know what to say. I was just happy. Plus, I, I have all my friends at school. All things considered, I'm pretty lucky. I want to do my best for everyone's sake. You sense the quiet passion of Yukiko's smile. You feel that you understand Yukiko even more. Rank 7. Everything's really coming to a head. We're about to just uh, hit a point of like everyone maxing out at like, the same time. But I'm trying to leave, betraying those who have been so kind to me. I can't help that, I suppose. Bye. We hung out with Yukiko and walked part way home together. Evening. You're back. So you're home. Fridge is full of food. I don't care. I don't uh, like. We have. I have like. Social links stacks on social links right now. I don't need to worry about the lunch shit. Hey, it's a full night. Sweet. Work. Increase that diligence. Give me your glasses, old man. Teach me how to be strong and courage. Yes! I am now maxed out courage, boy. You overhear students talking. You know, I don't really see the police in town anymore. I've seen on the news that there are still some loose ends to this case. But the police are ready to end everything. The what? You mean those murders? Why are you still talking about stuff from that far back? Ignore that! The school trip starts on Thursday. Both the first and second years are going. Might up in the same group as we set. I'm so looking forward to it. Sheesh, you never cared about idols until now. Jesus. <laughs> I forgot about the puppet man. Oh god. Looks like we're having quite an eventful year. It's so weird. After the murder incidents, an idol came to town, and then a detective shows up too. This town used to be so carefree. Every year was more of the same until the year came along. Anyway, I suppose to cover Haiku today. Get out your textbooks. Haiku, unlike Senryu, contains Kigo, which are words or phrases that can be associated with a particular season. Alright, while well, I test the waters with the Kigo related question. Mox! Uh, yes? Which of the following is the Kigo for fall? Brisk? Wow, I'm impressed, Mox! You're correct! While brisk is an adjective usually used regardless of the season, it is a fall Kiko. So if you're writing a haiku, don't use the word to describe a season that isn't fall. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. It's useless! My brain is as big as it can be! Teddy, what the fuck are you doing here? Yo, what's up, Sensei? Are you on your way home? Man, I could get all excited when school's over. This feeling of freedom is like such a rush. What are you doing here? I'm visiting. I want to see what it's like to be a student. I want to know more about the school and every uh, school thing that everyone goes to. It's much more fun than I thought it would be. One day, it won't be enough. <laughs> this doesn't cause any problems. Boy, do I hope this doesn't cause any problems. Alright, before we go and try any of these other social links and stuff like that, which I really need to work on, uh, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to see if I can hang out with an auto. Oh, Senpai, are you unsatisfied with the outcome of this case, too? I apologize, but I know opinions can't change the truth. But still, that does seem tough, but it seems that you need some sort of opportunity before you can become closer. Damn it! What's up? 
I want to see if I can finish off Yosuke's. If I can, that'd be fucking awesome. Yosuke! Yo! You three, you want to go somewhere? No, it's not ready. Damn it. And that one just finished. Uh, let's go to the practice building. Kanji! Kanji, are you free? Friend of mine? No! He doesn't appear to be here. I've been abandoned. Kanji! Fuck, he's really not here. She. Oh well. I guess this means I can hang out with one of the school people. Hey you, dar is your your dad still and mom are still in the hospital, right? Oh, Moxcoon. Oh, right, it's practice today. Are you going? You feel that relationship isn't ready? I fucking fuck! Fuckity 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 fuck fuck fuck. Hold on, I just thought about something. Quests! Na 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 I think that younger sister is the one that I was working on for the, uh, one fox thing. Maybe I'll get back to it. Maybe I'll hang out with Yukiko. Actually, that's a good point. Why don't we see if Marie is, uh, available? Fuck. Why didn't I think of that? Thank you, game. Oh, hey, it's Kanji. He's hanging out. Marie is unavailable. Fuckity, 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 fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuckity. I'm swearing up a storm, I swear. I swear I want all the same though. We can't perform telepathy. This might be able to help me find my sister. I wonder where she is. Hmm. Let's go to the floodplain. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba. What's up? Watching the news sure is depressing. For someone to just write up a person's death like it was nothing, that's a crying shame. You hear, right? They had a special on the crime circumstances and whatnot. I don't think he really knows what it means when a person dies. You have some time. I have a small request if you're busy. And see her. You ever taken a walk around here at night? It's nice in the day and all, but at night you really... You get a real change of scenery. I enjoy it. There's no city lights, all the stores are closed, and it's so quiet you can hear the river. The only problem is, is that you've got to watch your step. It's so dark, you don't even know where your feet are landing. I suppose I could carry a flashlight, but it kind of ruins the atmosphere. I was thinking already if I had a lamp, maybe. I don't even know who... But even that would be a pain in the neck to hold, and the wind could just blow it out. So I was thinking of having that eternal lamp or something would be nice. Find you one. Apparently, I do not have an eternal lamp. <gasps> Hello. Oh, it's you. How goes the fishing? It's all good. This has just been a very disappointing series of circumstances. You walking old man. It's a cool down. The breeze here on the river sounds nice. These days are meant for taking walks, but I guess my daughter's family just can't understand that. By the way, a small favor to ask of you, if that's all right. Yes, have you come across very many keys? To be honest, I'd like you to search for one, an old key at that. But please, don't ask why I need it. There's just something I need to open. Oh, thanks. Oh, yes. How about something you could never buy with money? I'll look for it. Really? Well, I know that you're... Some old key. I'm sorry, but it's going to have to leave you to it. I guess I don't have an old key either. You there, small child. What is it? I've seen that face before. This looks exactly like the older sister who's looking for a younger twin. My little sister is looking for me? Tell her we all I'm here at the floodplain. I won't go anywhere. Ah, back into town. Hey, little girl, I found your sister. I don't think she's getting your telepathic messages. Oh, that's where she is. Sheesh. Why should you have a place like that? You should have 
<laughs> you should have come back here together with you. Well, that's okay. I'll go over there and see her. I'm with a big sister. Thanks for telling me where she is. Aw, thank you. I asked everyone, but they all said no. Oh, listen. I think should be able to do it. Can you be our witness? I'll tell you what I'm thinking. And then you go over there and see if she's thinking the same thing. Sure. All right. Go over there and ask her what snack pops into her head. I'll start transmitting now. Okay, chocolate, chocolate. I guess I'm now helping with this shenanigans. She should still be over there at uh, the floodplain, right? Uh, damn it. Gotta run all the way over here. Fuck. <gasps> She's not here. Oh, no. I think I was watching TV. I'm glad that uh, that detective caught the culprit. He did seem like he was a really creepy person, didn't he? So the neighbors they interviewed even said so. Ah, oh, that detective. I'm truly grateful. I'm scared of crazy people. That was weird. Da, 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 da. Wait, is that her right there? No, it's not. It's those kids playing. Leave the flood playing, yes. Well, shit, I don't know what to do. Because I have options and stuff like that, but I kind of don't like any of the options. Uh... Shopping district, I guess? Maybe we'll go and see if we actually got something for the box, you know? Yeah, let's go see about taking a request from the fox. Unless I already have one. Experiment something. Feed the cat. Desk refurbishment. Demon. Girl on the rooftop. Yeah, I don't think I have one. Fuck, it's hot in here. I can feel myself already breaking out in a sweat. This fan is not doing it. It's just circulating hot air and it's just getting hotter. It's like 90 degrees today. Oh, bugs. Buggy boys. Catch the bugs. Bugs are gathered around the tree. How many bugs did I catch? I got a cricket, a locust, a cricket, a ladybug. Call the fox. Let's see here. You told the fox that you granted the wish written on the Emma. I did? Had I just been needing to turn this in? Was that what I was supposed to do? Uh... Social link up. Oh, that hurts. Oh, it hurts. You passed the time with the fox. It's getting late. You just had to go. Welcome. Welcome back. Hello. Uh, my courage is kind of maxed out, so I guess I'm kind of working on just diligence now. I, I got an idea. Something I could do. Hello, this is Rise. Hey, why don't we go into Teddy's uh, Teddy's place tomorrow? I know the criminal was arrested, but we can still go in there, you know? Plus, I don't feel relieved yet. And I want to see you fight, senpai. Nope. No, thank you. Shopping program. Yes! Charm drink. Chest keys. Ooh. <laughs> I do need chest keys. I'm gonna get this. Alright. Let's break on the model. 
or work on the model. Ba -da 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 -da. Suddenly, some of the complex pieces. Diligence has increased. You got glue in your hand, and now things are beginning to stick to other things. The model has been complete. Heavy armor, Agni. I have to show it to that guy. I can take a detour really quick. It's raining. Let's go into town. Need to get my understanding up. Diligence up, understanding up. Come on. Give me something. It gave me two of the, the things I needed. It's fantastic. But still. It's rough. So you're home. Where am I at? Because I know I just knocked out another thing. So yeah, that's two things. My expression, my diligence, and my understanding. Translate. Some of the idioms in the text make your translations difficult. Since I that other thing, my expression has increased again. That's three things I got on that expression. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Morning, senpai. What's up? Yo. Wednesday. Yo. So are you ready for the trip yet? This guy won't shut up about it. <laughs> Yosuke Senpai hasn't even started packing. He's all like, was that tomorrow? What's up with that? You are way too excited about this. I mean, you're even worried about how many boxes of animal crackers to bring. We're only gonna be there for two nights, dude. Besides, I'm pretty sure they have convenience stores in Port Island. I am like Kanji. Uh, I wanna make sure that my shit is packed and ready to go long before the night before and then even the night before I'm like double checking making sure I got all my stuff together you're serious I've never really left this place so huh I wonder if the murders here got as much play over there too that's a good question like that Mitsuo Kubo dude they're still showing him on TV here every time I switch on the tube the news is showing like what he wrote in his yearbook this is me off man the freaking media slapping together anything they can find to make the dude look like a born criminal. People think they can say anything they want about a guy who's been branded a criminal. It's just not right. I understand uh, how kind of feels there. I mean, I still hate the guy's guts, but I don't know. After getting involved with all this, I started to realize how off base most rumors are. They really are. It's so messed up. Well, I gotta admit. The news can be pretty out there. Hey, it's Naoto. Hello, boy. Yo, how's it going? Good morning. Uh, oh, yeah. I I'm on duty today. <laughs> well, see you later. There he goes. <sighs> He's the messed up one. Didn't even get to properly say hello to Naoto. Oh, someone wants to hang out, it looks like. Yes, who are ye? Yosuke, 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 Yosuke. Kanji, I'm okay with this. Yo. Busy at school? Feel like hanging out with somebody. Think about it, okay? Gaps a fucking lootly. Kanji! Yo. Classes suck today, as always. Oh yeah, how's she doing? That girl, I mean. Mary, Mary, whatever it was. Nah, I ain't worried about her or nothing. She just seems like someone you can't leave on her own. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I ain't interested in a brat like her, okay? Well, tell her I said hi, and then we ought to come along the next time we get together. 
Yeah. Got some time? Hell yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Something got left further. Can't get this place out of my head. Keep wondering if that rabbit the kid tossed out might be washed ashore around here. If he finds it now, he'll just feel bad. Not that I'm wading in today or anything. Hey, mister! There you are! Sonatron was really happy, and I've been looking for you ever since. Look, kid, quit calling. Ah, forget it. Can you make some more, mister? My mom really wants one. Sonatron's mom does, too. They said they'll pay you. Huh? Pay me? I, I don't need that. I ain't like... I'm a pro at this. Mom wants a dog, and Sunshine wants a dog. Or, mom, my mom wants a cat, Sunshine wants a dog, and my teacher wants a pink alligator. Pink alligator. Oh, like the one in that storybook, huh? Okay, context. Uh, in Persona 3, uh, you hang out with a guy who is a terminally ill patient. He's, he's got, like, something going on wrong with him. I don't remember what, but he's fucking dying, okay? And he basically, like spends his time trying to figure out a reason to, to keep fighting and he realizes that he, he's not going to make it so there's no point in that so instead he decides to leave a legacy so he writes a children's story involving a pink alligator uh, learning an important life lesson and after he gets it finished he fucking dies but the story uh, carries on making that legacy of his stay relevant it's, it's kind of sweet Fine, then. I'll, I'll get around to it sometime. Yay, thank you! Remember, you promised! <sighs> Strange situation I got myself into, ain't it? It's good for you. Good? I don't really know. When I was in elementary school, I fixed a classmate's bag one time. Thinking back, I guess I liked her. I only did it to make her happy, but the next day, all the girls were making fun of her. She cried. I didn't even understand why, but you know, I thought I'd done something wrong. I never thought I'd be thanked for doing this stuff. Ah, feels good. <laughs> Aaron, thank you. I like it. Kanji is laughing sheepishly. I feel you understand Kanji even better. He's such a good boy! Rank 6. Hell yeah. Ooh, what'd he get? Ooh! That's a hell of a fucking move! Oh, shit. I'm gonna get rid of this because he's more about hitting things hard. His magic status is worse, so why should I focus on his uh, magic? Oh well, I got a jet. I have to go to Okina Station to the uh, fabric shop. I'm out of material, so later. Yeah, he's gonna get right on to making those things, and they're gonna be fucking awesome. I bet. Calling it. Welcome back. You're going to go watch over the house. Oh yeah, package came for you today. It's on the table. Yes. Got some soup. Not gonna let me leave. I should rest. Let's see here. Got this paladin armor. And... No, that's if we think that's kind of better. Let's see here. You could go. What you? Oh, you're already wearing this thing. Oh fuck. Wasted my money. Yosuke, get that dagger. Much better. John, do I have anything better for you? Nope, it does not appear to be. It's all good. Alright, school trip begins tomorrow. You should get ready and head to bed early. Not really like I had a choice. The school trip is today. You're going to Tatsumi Port Island for three days and two nights. Early morning. Afternoon. Gekko Khan High School in front of the entrance. Wow, what's up with this place? Classic persona. This school's music. way too big. Fucking taking me back. Wait, if we can't beat them on size, we're totally sunk. Well, <clears throat> next I will explain about our fine educational institution and the reasons for its establishment. I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. <sighs> Is this principal in love with his own voice or what? Chie, he'll hear you. 
Our school is closed today. But uh, because of this rare opportunity for cultural exchange, some of our students will walk you through these halls. First, though, a student body representative will say a few words. Fucking excited. Thank you, Principal. Look at her. She's all grown up. Welcome to GeckoCon High School. My name is Chihiro Fushimi. I'm a third year student and the student council president here at GeckoCon. And, uh, you help her through some of her shit in uh, Persona 3. She's one of the social links that you get very early on, and it helps her become this very thing. It's an honor to meet you all today. Holy crap, that girl's unbelievable. Yeah, you're right. She is cute. I gotta say, she's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. You guys, stop overreacting. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural exchange. To learn about others is to learn about oneself and is the first step on the road to self-betterment. This, I believe, to ensure a worthwhile experience for each and every one of you, we will do our best to help you accomplish that. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. Clap, clap, clap. She beat me in every category. All right. Everyone get into groups with your classmates. Okay, I guess we're a group. Oh no. Excuse me, could I bother you for a moment? Uh, sure. This is today's schedule for everyone. Could you hand it out later, please? I forgot to do it myself. Sure. Sorry to be so disorganized. And you all came so far. We're doing a great job. No, I'm still struggling. Even with everyone's support, I'm barely pulling through. I used to get nervous very easily, and I once had a phobia of men, too. In fact, I didn't write the speech on my own. One of the former student council presidents helped me. She was the president my first year here, and she was amazing. Me too. I always looked up to her. I should call her later and tell her the speech was a success. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen to me going on and on about myself. I have to stop babbling when I get nervous. Um, your group is scheduled for a special lecture soon. The classroom is on the second floor. I see. We're going to uh, get very personal and talk a lot about ourselves, but not explain the fact that the guy who helped you do that is in a fucking coma. I have some arrangements to make with your student council. So please excuse me. That's fine. It's whatever. Did I just hear her say special lecture? We came all this way to be lectured? Yes, but this Let's lecture is see, my favorite. Our class is... It's being taught by someone named Mr. Edogawa. The lecture's about... Kabbalah. Fucking Edogawa is the fucking best. No joke. If I ever had a teacher like Edogawa, I'll tell you right now, I would have showed up early every class. I would have, like, been happy to do every assignment. Motherfucking Edogawa is the greatest. Kaba what? You don't know? It's a casino. No. So, when's our free period? Uh, ooh, we don't get one. We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow we'll be staying at a hotel. We'll have free time tomorrow and the day after until we leave at noon. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, guys. Let's focus on our studies for now so we can enjoy our free time later. Absolutely. Welcome. Nice to meet you all. A meeting is only the beginning stage of parting the Alpha and the Omega. My name is Edogawa, and I'll be keeping you company for this period. You are all from As Yasogami High, eh? Ah, a high school of many gods. I considered a lecture at Kabbalah philosophy, but I have a better idea. <laughs> Since I was able to meet you all today, I should tell you a story of partings. One could say that this is Japan's oldest tale of curses. 
You all know about the gods who created this country, I assume. The two gods who gave birth to this country are the god Izanagi and the goddess Izuna Izanami. They all got along well. But one day, Izanami died when giving birth to Kagutsuchi, the fire god. Extremely saddened by this, Izanagi left for the land of the dead to bring Izanami back. Yomi, the dark, dark over underworld. There, Izanagi asked Izanami, who would become a dweller in the land of shadows, to come back with him to the land above. The goddess replied by saying that she would negotiate with the god of the underworld and ask Izanagi to wait for her. However, Izanagi became curious to know what was going on, so he broke his promise and set his comb alight to look around. What he saw was the goddess, goddess Izanami, whose body was completely covered in filth and maggots. Terrified, Izanagi ran away, but the enraged Izanami chased after him. After dodging the many demons sent after him, Izanagi reached the entrance of the underworld, Yomutsa Hirasaka. He set in place a large boulder as a barrier between the two worlds and got away unharmed. When the dreadful goddess reached the boulder, he said his farewell to her. This is the curse known as Kotobo. Kotodo. Curses beget curses, and Izanami said to the god, If you're going to treat me this way, I will kill 1,000 humans in your world each day. Izanagi regretfully accepted the bonds between them were severed, saying, Then I shall give life to 1,500 each day. Thousands die, and 10,000 are born. That is the curse upon this country. Many of you have already known this famous story. Now, the etymology, the name Izanagi and Izanami, come from the word Izano, which means to invite. I'd be delighted if you have accepted the story today as an invitation to acquiring knowledge. That reminds me, in the olden days, people took the story seriously. Things such as lighting only one fire at night and throwing combs were taboo. By the way, at Hanya o no Iwaya, the grave where Izanami is said to have descended to the underworld, to this day, people decorate it with flowers when they hold festivals nearby. It may be ceremonial, but everyone wants it to look beautiful. It's how they show their consideration to the goddess, who may feel that way. <laughs> ah, it's our time up already. We have gone too long. <laughs> God, he's so cool. When you somehow survived the long lecture during the trip. It's because it had something to do with you. He's talking to you directly, you. Later that night, in front of the hotel. Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. All righty, here we are. The Seaside Clamshell Inn. We'll be staying here tonight. Is this really a regular hotel? No. A wave of agitation seems to be spreading throughout the group. So, what do you think? It was me who found this place. Of course you did. It just opened not too long ago. It's got that modern look. And the price was right. Personally, I think it was an excellent choice. We're staying here? I mean, the sign says hotel, but... It opened recently. Dude, this totally looks like a lot... You there, don't just stand there. Keep marching in. Good lord. Isn't there something funny about this place? Is there? We don't have these modern hotels in Inaba, so I can't tell. Um, this area is called Shirakawa Boulevard, and it's... That's all right, Risei. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Faster than I expected. This is Jenny. quite the hotel. If they were to meet... Oh, who's it. that? I accidentally hit the button again. Look, up there! <gasps> He's got cats with him. Teddy, what are you doing here? The lonely bear inside of me went stir crazy. If only I could detect people in the real world. How'd you get here? Do you have some special ability? Eh, I took the train. I swore off topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Juness. I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it. I already know. 
How in the world did you make it here looking like that? I mean, why wear the bear suit here? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times. But I kept hanging on to the promise Chie Chan made to go on a date with me. Oh, good lord. That's what gave me strength to carry on. Good lord. Uh, good job, Teddy. <laughs> did, did I promise that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I do remember saying that I'd go out with you someday. Whee! You remember, Chie Chan? Is it okay with Yuki Chan and Rise Chan too? Let's all go together then. Is that all right with you? Mm, it's a deal. I've been here before, so I'll show you around tomorrow. I guess we can go shopping first, and I know a great place we can hit later on. What, you mean the fucking mall? Ooh, shopping! That sounds great! <laughs> the other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just gonna go wherever the school recommends. Well, I guess a shopping spree beats a factory tour. All right, we're in two. <laughs> Leave it to me. Hell yeah. Now, before the fun starts, we gotta deal with this guy. Can't you sleep outside for the night? That suit should keep you nice and cozy. Cruelty to animals! You don't know how much trouble I went through to get here! I took the slow train all this way! Do you hear? The slow train! Now, now, you kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are you? Oh, crap! What's the matter? Oh, what's this giant teddy bear? Uh, bear-shaped backpack. Mmm, I see you like cute things. All right, now hurry on inside with it. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. But, uh, don't flip the wrong switch when you're turning on the lights, or your bed will start spinning. Anyways, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm exhausted. For so many reasons. God, this is fucking weird. Hey, man, you have to do something about Teddy. Come on, Mr. Backpack. Teddy's doing his best to act like a stuffed animal. Coming this far may be Teddy's way of showing how much he genuinely likes you all. He sensed Teddy's strong trust. So she wake up. We're up to five. Teddy's determination is enhanced battle. He will now cure severe ailments. I gotta pee. Ooh, let's get you inside. Like to save your progress thus far? Sure. I'll save my progress. I'll save it again. Just to make sure. Double save. Double save. Day two of the school trip. In the afternoon, you two are Tatsumi Port Island. At night, Palawania Mall. Club Escapade. Escapade. Ah, uh, the intro song to P3 Fez. Whoa! So this is a club. Woo! I'm totally ready for this! There's nothing like this back home. Fun thing, in uh, the handheld version, P3 Portable, uh, going to the club at one night, you can actually run into Vincent from Catherine here. Hey, is it Naoto. permitted for high school students such as yourselves to be here? Same could be said to you, buddy. What? Dude, look who's talking. You were here before we were. That's right. I guess if the first years came on the trip, you'd be here too. The clientele here seems above board, so I don't expect there'll be any problems. Huh? You're leaving? Why don't you join us? Are you... asking me to stay? Yeah. Uh-huh. We didn't get to chat last time. Uh, I... It's just that I had some matters to attend to that day. Well, you're free now, right? I was really eager to talk to you. I'm curious how someone my age is working as a detective. How about it? Mm, very well, if you insist. Look how flustered they are. Huh? 
What's up? You look a little red. That's not true. Wait here. I'll go reserve the area upstairs for us. Okay. Wait, what? Reserve? Yep. Don't worry. I think I can pull some strings. Oh. Uh. <laughs> What's wrong, man? Stomach pains? Mm, that ain't it. Oh, Kanji. Kanji. We say reserve the second floor, and you all made a toast. Are you sure this is all right? Isn't it expensive? No worries. Two years ago, when I had a secret show here, the power went out in the middle of it, and the gig was canceled. They still owe me from then, so they're willing to put this one on the house. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm gonna order more! Woo! I'm not gonna hold back, either. Eh? Dude. You sound even weirder today. Oh! You're so cold, Kanji. <sighs> Kanji! 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 I conjecture that something's up! <laughs> That's a great one. Yeah. Man, you're already in high gear. <laughs> uh oh. Con <laughs> uh, she's looser than usual, too. Hey, wait a sec. Are these liquor? Uh, I told them to give us soft drinks. They're non alcoholic. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. I told them. Really, I did. Really. Oh, sheesh. I was wondering why it's so hot. Is this seriously booze? But the smells. King's game! Oh god. Oh god. Times like this, adults play the king's game. It's the law. It's the law. What's their problem? They make me act like a ditz, call me resent and stuff, and then say I'm a kid? It's so obvious. Those rap parties get a lot better after I go home. Morons! I'm gonna play the king's game now, and ain't no one gonna stop me. She just wants to be a free grown-up, to being able to do whatever she wants. Yet another side of Risa exposed. I wonder if she knows what she's saying. Kanji! Get the chopsticks ready. What? Why me? The king's word is law! Jump, jump! Jump, jump! It, it's already started? Um, what's this king's game again? Okay. One chopstick makes you the king if you draw it, and the others have numbers on them. The king picks the number and says what that person has to do. But who has which number is a secret until the king gives the orders. <laughs> Senpai, you're such an adult. You tell him. It sounds like actually a fun time, if I'm being honest. Yukiko, where'd you learn this stuff? Come on, everyone draw. Which stick should you draw? Uh, let's draw the near one. You drew a stick. It says number six. Okay, so... Who's the king? Teddy's is red! Red! Is Teddy the king? Uh, we're already doomed from the get-go. I, the king, command thee to smooch the king without delay! Say a number. Smooch! Smooch! Please, God. Grant me a girl. Number three. Ah! I'm at number two. Nope, too late. No take backs. Smooch, smooch. Ah, uh, shit. Kanji, so you were after my fuzzy fur. Okay, but it's my first time. Be gentle. <laughs> 
Hey, quit that! Don't make me flatten you, damn it! Ah! No! Hey, help! Oh, only the first round, and two contestants have dropped out already. Good lord. Huh? Is it that kind of game? On to round two! You must be very careful here. Which stick should you draw? The near one. It's. I got a red mark on you. are the next king. Who's the king? That's Phew. me. Someone decent. No crazy orders this time. That's not how it goes. If the last king demanded a smooch, then the next order's gotta be more extreme. Oh god, don't put me on the spot. T.A., don't be such a party pooper. Hey! The person who gets picked should have to rest their head on the king's lap. Nah, make him sit on his lap. Oh, or they could have to hug him. Better than that, a piggyback ride. Come on, king. Who's gonna do what? Uh... Uh, two sits on my lap. Huh? Number two? The king's order is... Absolute! <laughs> Come on, you gotta sit closer up. You can go quiet. G.A. is cringing with <laughs> embarrassment. <laughs> me next! Me! I am the king! Actually, the queen. Yukiko, you didn't even draw a stick yet. You didn't even draw a chopstick. All right, then. Let's have someone talk about something really embarrassing that they'd never want to tell anyone. Hmm. Let's see. See. Oh, now, Token, I choose you. She's breaking all the rules. Just ignore her, Naoto. No, no, that won't be necessary. One stipulation, though. If I do this, the rest of you must reveal something as well. Okay. No particularly embarrassing experiences come to mind. Would discussing my life be fair game? It's the rare situation like this that gives me call to speak of such things. Damn, way to kill the mood. The Shiragane family has been detectives for generations now. We lend our powers to the police from time to time. Well, I love how she describes it as, we lend our powers. For generations? Wow, it's like that guy from a movie I watched before. What was his name? Kuzu Noha? <laughs> In days gone by when there were no crime scene investigators, consulting detectives were considered more valuable. Thus my grandfather still has a strong connection with the police, and looks after me, despite my youth and inexperience. But investigators nowadays are well versed in science and medicine, so I must further my studies. That sounds tough. Uh, that's it? No punchline? <sighs> I fear you may be looking to the wrong person for that. That's so embarrassing! Isn't Hotokum embarrassing? Good lord. I want to go home. Oof, I'm sleepy. And she's out. Well then, it's your turn now. A straight answer, please. What is your true involvement with the murder case? Oh, shit. You know, you're so good at killing the mood that it's almost funny. Well, we go rescuing people who've been kidnapped by jumping into the TV. And then we do stuff like Persona with our personas and beat the crap out of shadows. You idiot! Are you making fun of me? It's true! Persona! Good lord. Gee, someone put these two drunks to bed already. I see now that you had no intention of telling me the truth. 
But I'm curious, how did you become so inebriated? This isn't alcohol. I like that face. My god, I like that face. Good one, Naoto. No, I confirmed it when I first entered. No alcohol has been served here since a rash of drunk driving last year. Huh? Does that mean we're all just drunk off the atmosphere? Who cares? <laughs> I feel so good. Good night. And now they're up. Hey, senpai. How the hell are we gonna get back with two passed out drunks? All well, this is giving me a big headache. Is this what a hangover feels like? Probably. Teddy's still totally okay. <laughs> Let's keep drinking till morning. Bring it on. As I said, you haven't been drinking alcohol. They're done with our shenanigans. Are you a pack of imbeciles? Yes. Yes, we are. The last night of the school trip drifts on. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. Yes, I would. Do, do, do. The third day of the school trip. Shopping district in front of the station. Hagekure Ramen. Hell yeah, they're all ramen oh, shop. Oh man, this is really something! This place serves the best ramen in town. When we were filming, a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches. You hang out here a lot during social links. Hmm? You're not hungry? Um, <laughs> what happened last night? I don't remember much about it. Oh, I think the two of us fell asleep quick. I heard it got pretty wild, though. I see. I don't remember at all. <laughs> They didn't even drink anything. Ah, uh, this flavor never changes. How's Teddy eating through the soup? I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. Hmm, this is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. See? See? Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. It's probably very uh, salty. Not like bad salty, like good salty. Uh, cause salt just kind of makes you want to keep going. Um, I'll have the Haga Curry Bowl. The Haga Curry Bowl's a normal menu item now? Oh, I should have asked. Oh well, this is just as good. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Sure, no prob. See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. Oh, oh you're there. right. There's a lot of autographs on display. Including a handprint. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Huh? Where's my bowl? <gasps> Teddy. You didn't eat it, did you? You didn't finish, so... <laughs> I was going to finish it! Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? I don't know how to count. You little liar, give me that check. One, two... Ten bowls?! Yuki-chan's makes it eleven! I was going to finish mine. They were there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh, already? I thought the trip was going to be a bore. But now that it's over, I actually had a good time. Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I bet Nanako-chan will be expecting one. Absolutely. Let's buy... Let's get them... Mochi. All right, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Teddy? Yo. Hey, Ted. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little. D dude. Hey, he ain't moving. I is he hibernating? Hey. Don't, don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Are you serious? Teddy! <clears throat> My tummy's heavy. 
and leave it behind. Woof. I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Was, was, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. There was a bowl of ramen sitting there. There was a bowl of ramen sitting here. There was nobody there before. Did, did Naoto have a bowl of ramen? Hey, I really can't move. And I don't have the money for a return ticket. What? Farewell, Teddy. We shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. You all headed back to the rendezvous right point to head home. Uh, all the days of the school trip passed by safely. And I got Nanako Samochi! Could have gotten the lamp. But, you know, it's a kid, Mochi. <gasps> I brought you Samochi! Welcome home. Did you have fun? It was great. Come, come with me next time. Yep, for sure. Um, I want to go to Destiny Sea too. There's this roller coaster that goes whoosh into the water. Uh huh. She's so excited. Remember, you brought a souvenir for Nanako. Here you go. Wow! Thanks. Ooh, it looks so good. I'm gonna eat it right now. Go for it. What's up? Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? Look, my big bro got me a souvenir. Got your mochi. Hey, nice. Did you remember to thank him? Of course. Huh. I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. Yeah. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. You talk to him much? I guess so. He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. Adults can be a selfish bunch. Doesn't mean it has a kind look in his eye. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. Mm-hmm. Nanako, can you get the bath ready? I might take a bath when I'm done streaming, too. Well, I'm gonna eat something, and then I might take a bath. The school trip is over, and it's a peaceful Sunday morning. Nothing of note has happened while you're away. What should you do today? Shut up. Shut up. Oh, God, it's 9-11. Shopping program. Ba ba da ba ba da. Ooh, a bone bone. That's for Teddy. I don't use Teddy. I guess I have to get the other one now. You know a trout, please. Shit! I never showed that guy that thing. I haven't had a chance to. Uh, play something on it. Model robots. Uh, Agni. It looks rad! Yeah! I can't hang out with Monaco. Let's go out Hello. Ooh. I would like some melon seedlings, please. And I'll take the Whopper Freak off. Thank you, thank you. Let's go into town. It's a, it's a stormy day, but it's not raining. So we should have a bunch of things available to us. Hey, Marie's here! You came. Hey, before we go looking for my memory, there's someplace I want to go. I want to liven things up. That's okay, right? In the day with Marie? Yeah, let's absolutely. Go. Let's go. Take me out. Shopping dish so Sozai Daigaku. At Marie's insistence, you have come here to eat steak skewers. Hmm? 
if it isn't Mox doing the Marie Chan. Haha, <laughs> we made again! Yo. Yo, Senpai, what are you doing here? Oh! Hey, no fear, you're all here without me. You could have called, you know. Everyone seems to have gathered around. You spend a fun time with everyone, including Murray. Well, it's grown late, see so you ya. leave everyone and escort Murray to. That was it, huh? Huh? That seems strange. You're back. I don't care that the fugitive. Oh. Can't really do anything. Uh... Ah, fuck! I forgot to show that thing to that guy again. Uh, I think it's Dillard. Understanding. Uh, reason. Yeah, 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 something like that. Not that one. Status. Mox. Me. Uh, expression. Or, oh, no, it is understanding. My understanding is motherly. I need it to be higher. Uh, translate, I think it was. Waha. Expression. Expression. Uh, read the passage again. I hope you all enjoyed the school trip. Don't you all feel a bit more mature now that you visited an urban area like that? Oh, by the way, that cute bear that Mox had on the trip, it was really adorable. I got, I get so tempted by animals with such unique designs. Speaking of bears, their, their friends, the pandas, are also really cute. Do you know what they used to be called in Japanese? They were called black and white bears and divided color bears, a perfect description for how they look. The mixed colors, so exotic yet so delightful. You need to do some exotic things to become an adult anyway. <laughs> Listen to the lecture intently. My knowledge has increased. Not that it's going to help me, my knowledge is max. Afternoon, after school, let me do things. Hooray. I just took a new job. I think the person I need to talk to is on the roof. Hello, Teddy. What are you doing here? Nope, nobody's on the roof. It seems I was a liar. What's up? Well, well, back again with the incredible magnificent medalist. I knew you'd be here. I tried to be riddled. This is ready for a new challenge. It's not like I'm ducking the books or anything. I'm just looking out for my fellow real friends. Bring it! Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No flipping the script. It's another categorization puzzle. This one's not the baby school, though. Three, two, one, get loose now. Skateboards in group A. Go karts in group B. Egg timers all up in group A. Alarm clock is strictly group B. So, what does so what does Protractor roll with? Group A or B? So, what's the reason all these seemingly unrelated things are so tight with each other, huh? Uh... Human motion? No, oh, Damn it. Son of Beach. Okay, let's go into town. See if anybody's available here. Maybe it doesn't mean it can't be a cloudy day either. Oh, reset. New books. Hyperspeed reading. Oh, fuck yeah. Maybe uh, increase understanding. Alright, don't need that one. Oh, yes! Good books. You know what? I'm just gonna buy these. Just to get them over with. That speed reading book though is fucking crucial. Okay. Uh, let's leave the shopping district then. I guess we're heading back to the school. And we will see who wants to hang out with us for our social. You can go. Yeah, it's not ready to advance, but we can at least get yes. started. Keep working on things, you know. You know how it is. Yeah, we just like it, hanging out, having conversations about life and stuff, you know. Hey. Good evening, and welcome 
Welcome to Nightline's special Night Watch report. A suspect in the murders in Inova was safely arrested recently. But what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. Tonight's report will focus on this detective prince, Naoto Shirogane, whose handsome looks are sweeping the nation. Thanks for being on the show. No, no. The pleasure is all mine. Naoto's on TV. Oh, his uniform's the same as yours. First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case, and you did a great job clearing them up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate death, but when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. Oh? Like what? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time, but this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. I... I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. Now for our next segment, The Detective Prince's True Identity where Nato-kun tells us a little bit about himself. Amazingly, the Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases. 16 Damn. of them were... There's a detective at your school? Yeah. When I'm older, I'm gonna go to your school, too. Nice. The breezy evening passes. Nato is in danger. Yo! Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? Now Dokun was on! That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer. Yeah, but nobody's gonna believe your story. But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? So it's true that he helped solve the case. I'm kinda surprised, though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. They're not. Good morning. I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? What is it? First, as regards commonalities between the victims, all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. That is the most likely scenario. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? Yeah, we did. Then allow me to state my point. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to divert attention from yourselves. Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. You thought one of us was the killer? Oh, you can't be serious! This was a prior theory, since discarded. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Of course, this is all speculation. There is in fact a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. 
a very, very heavy blow to the head. The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy, yet they are desperate to close the case. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. You said something interesting to me not long ago. Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me either. Naotokun? They know what they're doing. They know what they've set themselves up for. And in fact, they sort of just entrusted us with finding them. Naoto didn't come to school. There's a cat. Ooh, sir, let's try this again. Let's see here, skateboards, go karts, egg timers, alarm clock. Protractor. Okay. Common number. No, damn it. Figure this out. Whoa. You know there used to be a cleaning club at the school? The last surviving member of the club. I mean, everyone else has graduated already. I will this year. Even though the club will be gone, I'm looking for someone to continue my path in music conversation. Would be interested in succeeding? Really? Sure. Is that so? Then I'd like you to get the compliment equipment that shows you are indeed worthy of taking on the, the passion for cleanliness. Do I something difficult? I want you to bring a tool and clothing that is fit for cleaning. I'd like you to bring these back to me. Oops, not Yasogami High. Ips. Yes, yes. Keep Yukiko in mind. Might come back to you. Kanji's hanging out there. No Mari. No Mari. Mary no job that I can go to. To Yukiko! To feel your relationship isn't ready to advance yet. I don't yes. care. Let's go and hang out with Yukiko. We will make it get ready to advance. We walk again. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Welcome home. It's gonna rain tomorrow. Mm. Well, I can keep working on my diligence at least. Welcome. Oh, yeah, nothing, nothing there. I haven't been adventuring anytime soon. Wash the dishes. Get the gents. Get it closer. There's only one person. Probably young man. Tell me your things. Understanding has increased. Also a good one. Diligence and understanding. Hell yeah. Hmm. You overhear students talking. Hey, did you hear? See that show on TV? The one about the detective prince's secret identity? Naoto kun is so cool. Yeah, he doesn't have it going on, does he? He's really young to be a detective, too. He's cute, but he has that aura of mystery about him. That's cool, too. Think he'll be at school today? I don't think they will. After school. Naoto didn't come to school today as well. Hmm. 
Mysterious mysteries. Mysterious mysteries for another time. I am melting. And, uh, well, yeah, I'm just melting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see about ending it here. Uh, I appreciate everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, tomorrow I'll probably do something with uh, Snoo and them. Maybe it'll be more Minecraft. Maybe it'll be something else. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, but until then, I hope everybody stays safe, stays hydrated, and remembers to wash their hands. This is Mr. Mox, and I'm signing off for the night. Bye-bye.